its own. <coughs> All right. Well, if we're running on sound. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm really thirsty. I know. And you're itching. I'm itching to okay. drink something bubbly. <laughs> Welcome back to Missing the Homies. This is the show where I bullshit with my homies. This wife I had, or this month. <laughs> this wife. How many are there? This wife I have my month. My month I have, this month I have my wife. Jeez. I'm getting there. That I am. Um, nay. Welcome back. We're f- Thank you. Are you ready? I'm so ready. To crack into this and finally crack into 1984? Okay, here we go. Let's crack it. I like mine better. I like mine better. Good. I love that for us. Sorry, it's not victory gin. <laughs> <coughs> Thank God it's not. <laughs> it looks, I mean, okay. So, if you're just tuning in, we're talking 1984, the graphic novel versus the novelization. Yes, I am reading just plain old novel. And Antonio is reading a, the graphic novel. Who's it illustrated by? Uh, Fido Nesti? Fido Nesti? I don't know. I looked him up and I couldn't find uh, anything else that he'd done. Um, so, yeah. So, the victory gin in this looks awful. Oh, can I see it? Yeah. Okay. So, that's what I've been most interested about reading is like, to see what comes through visually. Yes. Okay. So, I've been dog. Because um, I feel like the dog-earing? novel is very wordy, wordy. Like, he does a lot of. It seems like a lot of it's in his head, you know? So then I was wondering how that was coming through on your page. Okay. So And I would really like to see this victory gin. Okay. So I'll put some pictures from this on this back wall. Um but on the okay. green screen. Yeah, on the on the green on the little green screen. So it's done in like this really muted Oh, like, but it's still narrated. It was a bright cold yeah. day in April. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of it is just narration. There's okay. very, I mean, in the f- whole first chapter, that's also what we're covering up to in this. You keep saying chapters, but it's technically parts. Parts. Just okay. for our listeners, if they've read 1984, so there are three parts. It's part one, part two, mm. part three, and then these little subsections. This is chapter one. Gotcha. Part one, and then like. The chapters, the restart chapters reset at every with part. Each part. Correct. Yep. Gotcha. So we're only covering part one today. Yeah. Well, that's as far as I've read. Did you finish? I finished chap- part two. I God. finished part two and I stopped there. Mm. So. And I just read into. But I'm going to try to not talk about part two if I fuck up. Correct me. But yeah. I just don't re- worry. Refreshed no spo- myself. No spoilers for part two of 1984. Just for you. <laughs> No spoilers on set. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the art style is, um, I mean, it's simple, but I think it's um, it's very gray. It's very gray, but I th- but I feel like um, that's kind of the vibe for the world. Oh, definitely. That it's very. Bland and gray and simple. And dirty, like sooty. Yeah. And I think about the fact that this is like, you know, the same area as London. Like, this is in London. Yeah. And like, London does have like a smog to it. Mm-hmm. So this is like, I'm just imagining it like times 10, you know? Yeah. Well, I imagine it like being, yeah, I don't know. I was, gonna, yeah, I agree. Like, just very, bleh. Blech. Um, one thing that I really like that he does in this, there's the occasional just like full page. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, and I don't. I mean, like it's kind of depressing. I mean, it's but depressing. It's but well it's, done. See, like his Victory eyes, with a just the tear. eyes watering, and the only thing that they have to drink is gin. The only thing that flows freely is the gin. But like. 
I think the art is. I wouldn't even say it's simple. Um, no, I would say simple, but like it's detailed. Like I don't know. You see a lot more of this than I do. What do you mean? Like you, you read graphic novels. I don't. It's just it's interesting to this see. This is a the, lot more words than I expected, though. Yeah, well, it's I've, like still very word heavy. I've also never read a graphic novel version of. I mean, well, I guess I I read Sapiens. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I mean that's so not a novel him. though; it's nonfiction. Yeah. But even that would make me think that it'd be even more dense. And it was well, I felt like it was super dense, and I feel like this is super dense. Yeah, I've been having a really hard time. I like I think that's that's the thing that I've been most excited to talk about with this is that like I mean this is very much more your bag you'll you like more of the political dystopian uh how else would you characterize this yeah I do like a dystopian yeah and the, the dystopian is always capitalism yeah the dystopian dystopian always is political overtones yeah yeah it's like because even this you know they're like under the socialist fascism the ings suck like which i hate authoritarianism does not no it doesn't it doesn't roll off the tongue but they say like it started with socialism but then they like removed all of the parts of egalitarian society or they never introduced egalitarian society but they like removed a lot of and re- the principles and, and for the people who are watching it and give the, give the spark notes of what egalitarian society is um okay so couple systems there's capitalism which is the current system w- that we live under where uh the way that money's flow is based on the free market the free market yeah capital uh before that it was like feudalism and that was kings primarily moving around money Mm -hmm. um socialism is that socialism still keeps money Mm -hmm. and everybody like works for money but the wages paid are supposed to be more equal Mm. And that's what egalitarian is. An egalitarian society is one that everybody, where everybody is equal. So socialism tries to keep money, but make the current production labor wage more, more equal. equal versus something like communism is going to say no more money. Like if you go like, yeah. it's if it's, you go to certain branches, so like there are, you know, like communist thoughts where we couldn't have a egalitarian society if money stays in play because if there's money in play there's power well, and there's hierarchy still well cuz i mean money is still capital exactly yeah. exactly but socialism socialism's weird so i was going to thought of, like i socialism yeah. is not i don't know i think it's it's confusing it's weird and they like go for this egalitarian society but it's not actually yeah, because like the. Also, this is all from my understanding. Some of this might not yeah, be one hundred percent. Like, I am not the best read yeah, yeah, yeah. person no, no, in the no. world on this. No, no, but no, no, no. That's why I said this the spark is my understanding. That's why I said the spark notes. The spark this, that's, notes. That's this is my understanding. Yeah. Um. But I was. Yeah, it's just been it's been really hard to read. It's been a tough read. Yeah. Because it is so dense, and. Partly because of the new speak. Mm. And I feel like because the narrator is, I wouldn't even say. So in the, in the full written novel. Yeah. The new is, speak is, is like immediately explained. Is that not true? Okay. In the graphic novel? So is there the appendix? Yeah, there's an appendix, but usually it's explained within enough like paragraphs where I don't have to go to the appendix. Okay, so at the beginning, it's like kind of explained, but it's like, like you can piece together what the news speak. Yeah, no, said. no, no, no. Oh, okay, can, okay. Uh, so it doesn't. They like sort of touch on it. Just I feel like it jumps into it really quick, mm. um, because there's a whole appendix that like gives the history of news speak. And I thought oh, that, I didn't look at that at all. Well, I thought this was interesting just in the sense of like um, the principles of new speak. And it 
is like talking about the language in such a complex way that I was like, oh my God, this is so fucking confusing. Like the A vocabulary, the B vocabulary, and the C vocabulary. Did you like... I don't think I have that. Okay. This was like... Oh my God. Yeah, I just have an afterword and then a bib. Yeah. No, this is like one, I did see that there's two, a book three, that's called four, like Newspeak of the 21st Century though. That sounds six. really cool to me. This is like six and a half pages of like Newspeak in the the like in universe definition. It was so fuck. It was hard to understand. It was like going. It was like how they honestly it was it was interesting because it was like how they stripped down the language. And I thought that was also interesting just in the like world building of how they strip people of their individual thoughts by like removing the words for it. I was like, Oh, that's yeah. Language very much shapes like the thought process that you can even have. So to strip away language like that, you're really taking people's like intellectual autonomy away. Yeah. Did they get a, do they get into that in the regular novel? Yeah, and it talks about like stripping there's, you know, the different editions of newspeak and they kind of like get stripped away and they try to figure out how many words they can like collapse and things like that. So it it's ex- it's explained to that extent. Yeah. Um and I do feel like when they're talking about it it very much comes through that like they're using keeping people uneducated as a strategy of control like that's just very it's very obvious see and i didn't look at it as uneducated as more so confused that's part of it i mean like that's part of it it. definitely feels like part of it but i was like sitting there trying to read it and i was like right i I felt like i was yeah i'm like like, what the fuck are they saying i had a couple of like long blinking periods where i was like the evil, like, I think me reading a lot of fantasy though, I just like it skip. felt like a fantasy language. Exactly. Yeah. So I just like kind of breeze through it, and then I'm like, they'll tell me what that means. Like that's my attitude. Yeah. Like I don't care. <laughs> well, I, I feel I like, don't try to figure it out. Well, I feel I just like because I was it. having such a hard time at the beginning. Like, I feel like finally at part two, like things are happening where it was like before it was just like just trying to show how beaten down winston is yeah and i was like i fucking get it i feel it trying to ingest this um so i was like let me switch and like see if reading this helped like um oh my gosh okay New speak words were divided into three distinct classes known as A vocabulary, the B vocabulary, also called the compound words, and the C vocabulary. It will be simpler to discuss each class separately, but the grammatical particularities of the language can be dealt with in a section devoted to the A vocabulary since the same rules held good for all three categories. Okay. So I'm just like, if all if the rules held for all three, what's the distinction between the three different vocabulary? Isn't it like nouns, verbs, compound words? It was like, yeah, adver- it like got very, very grammatical. And I was like, this is Yeah, I don't have so that appendix. I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Well, I... I feel like, especially if you're having a hard time with it, I feel like... Well, I gave up. I, it's no, no, it's no, like no, six I, and a half mean, pages long and I read two. I mean, with the book as a whole, though, like... You don't need to soak in every single detail to understand the story. No, I'm just trying to understand the story. Oh. I feel like it's ri- I feel like it's also written really oppressively to match the tone in which it's written matches the setting. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. it's super I got what George Orwell was was going for, which is a pen name. Yes, <laughs> which I didn't know. I don't know if any of our um, f- friends, <laughs> any, our, our homies that any, are listening. Any of the viewers. Any of the viewers. I didn't know if anybody also knew that, but I didn't know that until we Googled or like when we were going to start this. And then I was like, 
what year did 1984 come out in? And then I Googled it, and then it was what like... What year did it come out? Uh, 49, I think. Oh, not 48. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> missed opportunity. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, should have made it 1994 then. Why? Because I know 49, 94. Oh, uh, because like that's it's not 1984. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They could have chosen any whatever. They could have picked any year. They yeah, I wonder why they year. picked 1984. I don't know. Probably because the eight looks like two eyes, Big Brother's eyes. Maybe. Theory. Maybe. Yeah. What have you wanted to talk about the most? Because for full context, we have both been reading this, but it's it's hard to like doing this book club in such close proximity has been so hard because we both like we get to a part and we want to talk about it, but we're like, oh, we got to save it for the pod. <laughs> question somewhere but i think i lost that notebook um and then i didn't start to think about like tagging things until part two Mm -hmm. so actually most of the things i want to talk about are are in part part two two. (laughs) i feel like part one is a lot of setup but i guess i'm curious like i guess i'm more curious what you think because this is also your first time reading it this is my first time like actually reading it um i think um it's really tough. Yeah. It's it's a tough read. I feel like it's a tough read because, one, it's a tough subject. Or it's like a tough um, idea to wrap your head around. Like, just the... it's Because uh, I feel like full fantasy, full sci-fi is easier to, is almost easier to wrap your head around because it's like oh this is fully not real but like this is grounded in reality not our reality but a very close reality so it feel so it's like it's tough to it's rooted in our reality yeah so it's like so it's tough to like um like i'm not enjoying it I'm not enjoying it at all. Mm. I don't think it's a fun read. I don't think like I, I wouldn't the, use the word. I wouldn't use the word fun yeah, either. I, I, but I, I am enjoying it. So. I'm see, and I'm not enjoying it. And I don't think it's fun. But I also don't like. What made you want to read it, then? I don't know. Um, honestly, I think it was just the first one that seemed doable. That was out of like the more like classic. Well, like type a, shit that there was a a graphic novel version and a regular novel version. Like we talked about doing Sapiens. I would love to do Sapiens, but that is so so dense. But I'm That's sure they have like, like oh Frankenstein's such a good one. I'm sure probably. that they have like oh, lots they, no, of they like definitely have Frankenstein. Yeah, I'm sure they have lots we of. We should have done Frankenstein because you love Mary Shelley. I do love Mary Shelley. Um, she started sci-fi. She did. Yeah, we should have did Frankenstein. Maybe I've another sa- time. I've said I wanted to read <laughs> Frankenstein with you. You picked 1984. I don't know why I picked 1984. Um, I didn't know oh. if this was you wanting to talk politics with me. No. <laughs> I mean, not that I don't want to, but um, like this is another page that I saved where this art is just like... It's gross yeah i don't think i would but graphic novels aren't my jam Mm -hmm. like i really hated that zombie one that you read even just seeing it sometimes made me uncomfortable zombie one i don't know i feel like there were zombies they were like people dying it was very gruesome people had gross skin i don't know it was maybe like a year ago you read something that had really nasty art to me and i like could not I feel like I needed to place myself on the couch where I couldn't see it. Interesting. Th- so it like made me uncom- like uncomfortable. This art is definitely is especially that's the, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, the part where is this versus I, like I don't remember I, if this is real. I feel like on the the written page. I don't know. I just I'm one of those people that just gets like lost in a book. Like I'm I like feel like I like fully enter it. Yeah. And that 
gives me a lot of character empathy because you're like literally in their shoes in a graphic novel you're not in their shoes you're watching them yes and weirdly enough the way that you said it like you can slip in i feel like this made it easier for me to slip in Hmm. because i feel like if it's something that i absolutely didn't want wouldn't want to read like just words on the page i'm gonna like my brain's already yeah but well this is a medium that works better for you yeah so i think this medium lets me so i've been reading and i feel like also a graphic novel i read it like three times because i go through yeah i just read the words and then i look at the pictures and then i check the words again but also sometimes i just like bounce around but I feel like this isn't since this is since this is a like a graphic novel. It's it's a lot more to take in. It's a lot more. It's to a ta- lot of content. It's a lot more to take in, but it's also I think the choice to do like three colors is really really cool. Like it's sort of grayscale with only just bits of red, and yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, I think it's just been easier to grasp. Yeah, like it's another full. Yeah. Full page. What did you think the. Like. This is a lot more words than I expected. Is that mm-hmm. what you were going to ask? Yeah, I, I guess I didn't know what you were expecting with the graphic novel. I was expecting less words because this just feels like they took the novel and pasted it in, in there and then drew a bunch of pictures. Yeah. Um, Instead of like <clears throat> really adapting the written word to the medium. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what I was wondering with like this seems very wordy i was wondering with the novelization how much detail there was because i was wondering how much of this I mean, was if you just look at the page though like this is not he's not a short paragraph writer no he gives a lot of like that's one paragraph wow yeah that's of yeah that's a whole page yeah so he's a he's a dense Mm -hmm. writer which is part of why i was like so curious about the graphic novel how much of the of what was written they really retained and it looks like a lot (laughs) it looks like they retained a lot of it yeah which intrigues me it's um it's been uh also kind of hard to get into because it's there's not a lot of dialogue no, there's not. There's not a lot of dialogue. And I feel like... It'll pick up, though, in part two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I already got to the point where... I don't know what her name is, but... <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers for 1984. Lucy. Oh. I'm everywhere. I'm so... Oh, Julie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> not the brat reference. <laughs> Um, Happy Brat Summer. <laughs> yeah. So I've, um, and I mean, just like, look, it's like twice the size of like. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah. It's, it hasn't, it, an, another thing that's made it difficult, it's not an easy transport. Mm, mm-hmm. Like I can't just, I can't back pocket that book. No, you can't. No. It's a big boy. Um. Yeah. Did you have any... Did Did you say you had questions written? I did, but it, I think I might have left my notebook at work. That's fine. I just... I haven't done an actual... You You have way more book club experience. I have a com... I have yeah. comic book club experience. <coughs> also, where'd you put my stack of books that was... On, oh, I see it. Never mind. Because I have a book club Wednesday for that top book, and I haven't started reading it yet. That's crazy. It'll be fine. I read it tomorrow. No, that's crazy how you can jump from that to that. Like, I picked up a comic. I feel like this is also 
been um, like a real block for me. Mm. Like I can't pick anything else up because I'm like, I want to finish this. Well, I want to finish. I want to get into part three so fucking bad. <laughs> I think I would have finished it the other night well, if you didn't tell me I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, because then you would have finished the book and then. Okay, so the next time we're going to be talking part two. I'm just saying you got to. I want you to. I know, hurry. I know. I, well, I want to talk about Well, I'm it. at the point where things start. Things are starting to happen. So I feel like I'm. Part two ends on a, a bit of a cliffhanger. Mm. Um, but yeah, if you don't have anything else, I feel like it's a weird part to like have thoughts on because most of what you've gotten is set up. Yeah. And then like, like I said, I started tagging in part two. Mm -hmm. I feel like I probably would have had better questions if I had also stopped at part one. Um, because then I wouldn't have this other stuff that I'm excited to talk about, but like, no, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So. For this, but I like and for this. I'm gonna I I'm gonna read. Okay. As soon as we wrap this, I'm gonna uh, read part two. I will say though that I feel like reading part one. I felt a lot of like very deep empathy with Winston because he is kind of like feeling like he's crazy because he lives in this society that he like fundamentally doesn't agree with, mm-hmm. and he's like trying to find the people that. Ag- like agree with him like not only trying to find the people but like trying to convince himself yes that like no this is fucked up yeah like he's like am i crazy or I is think, society crazy like what's going on i think part one ends with him being like no i'm right i'm right mm, okay okay yeah yeah so like society is so bad right now yeah and feels like it keeps getting worse and i feel like for a long time i have felt like the like house is burning down and I'm telling everybody to get out and like everybody's like, no, it's fine. Um, so you empathize, you empathize with Winston. That's I what I just, yeah, said. You just said. That. But, and, but I do <laughs> feel like recently, like even just talking to like, uh, one of the older people who work in my office who I like, don't have like a super close relationship with, but we like, you know, talk in the break room or like yeah. say good morning. I was like, you know, like, everything in the news like the world has just been such a dark place like I've just it's been tough lately and she was like I completely agree and like I just feel like I've been having more of those like little interactions with people where I'm like everything feels crazy I mean like the world's on fire we're sending like all of this money to war which is just awful and then that's like contributing worse to the climate it's killing so many people like that is just like awful 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 and then there's like everything happening in congo and sudan and it's like the list goes on yeah and it just feels like and then there's we have like two presidential candidates that are arguing about like who's better at golf i'm like what yeah it feels bad everywhere you look it feels it feels like there is no glimmer it feels crazy it feels crazy bad yeah it feels crazy bad and i don't think i've been saying that I, like, don't like the way society has operated for a long time. Yeah. And I feel like there's been a lot of people who have just been, like, yeah, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. But I have people being, like, no, this is really bad. Yeah. Like, this is kind of, like, the first time in my life where I'm, like, having people that, like, are... That I'm not already, like, talking about, like, big society stuff with consistently or, like, yeah. that I, you know... You're meeting more Julias. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind only of. I'm only once I'm in the part of chapter two where I she don't know. just Julia gave him the note. Julia has a different ideology, which we'd have to get into. We'll get there. We'll get there. In part two. Yeah, um, she just gave him the note, which I think is also crazy. Don't worry. We'll get into it in part two. <laughs> is the I love you note in part two? Oh, spoiler. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, like, you knew it. I, my, <laughs> me not doing spoilers was for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was like the f- the f- very first thing which i th- okay. like I, I like i i feel like i couldn't even empathize with winston at the beginning because oh I- no i i was literally talking about empathizing with winston in therapy i was like whoa i'm like i actually feel like this is like helping me because whoa everything has felt so like i think i that's why i like a good dystopian political yeah. read it's like because we're living in a dystopia because we're living in a dystopia because we're living in a dystopia yeah 
And then, you know, it usually ends with a rebellion of some sort. Oh, that I thought, I thought you were going to say happy ending. But I... No, usually, I mean, like, most dystopian novels end with a rebellion of some sort, and they come out on the other side better. Like, I honest, truly cannot think of a dystopian novel I've read. Or they end in flames, and then you're dead, and you don't have to worry about it. So there's something comforting about it. It ends one... It, and it, There's two paths, and I feel like that's the dystopia that we live in. We either tear down our system and make a better one, which I like that idea. Where it all goes up in flames. Or where climate change kills us all. <gasps> like, I think those are the two options. Those are our two roads. I don't know. Sorry, y'all. Sorry to be a depressor. The pod is not... I wonder f- why people think <laughs> are uncomfortable around me. <laughs> the pod is not fun this month. We're going through adult shit over here. Yeah. 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 No, I feel that. I. I mean, I... It's interesting that you find comfort in a dystopian novel. I mean, I understand it, but yeah. Hmm. Woman on the Edge of Time. Is that the... um, That's my favorite book. Oh my God, what was her name? She goes from a dystopia to a utopia to a dystopia. It's... Oh, it's heartbreaking and comforting and hopeful. Oh, I love, I love, I love a dystopian novel. <laughs> I wonder if there's a graphic novel version of that. I don't know. I don't. Who, that's like who wrote it? Marge Piercy. Marge Piercy. Damn it. I knew I was like Margaret. It's not her Margaret most something. popular book. So I don't know. I feel like if, I don't know. They, it might. I don't know. I don't know. But I would read any Marge Piercy book, really. Um, She's a Detroit girly. Is she? Mm-hmm. I didn't know she was a Detroit girl. Yeah. I think she's dead now. Maybe she's not. Sorry, Marge Piercy, if you're alive. Somebody fact check. You thought Mos Def was dead I did. I went, when did Mo De- <laughs> Mos Def die? <laughs> and Tony <laughs> said, never. <laughs> you were like, yeah. Dang. Or I was asked how he died. <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, you said, how long has he been dead? <laughs> <laughs> so you knew he was dead. You're like, he's been dead for a while. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Most death is kicking it somewhere. Yeah, I don't know who's alive and who's dead. So that's not my strong suit. Um, yeah. But if there were any Marge Piercy graphic novels, I would absolutely read. I really haven't read a lot of her other novels other than A Woman on the Edge of Time. I've mostly read her poetry outside of that. Mm. But I have one. I found a... Um, a graphic novel or another novel? No, it's just a different novel by her. I have a couple. Like, no way. Just a couple of the ones that I found at like Armadillo and stuff. Oh, yeah, Because I'm like, yeah. I loved that novel by her so fucking much that I'm like, I want to just like have a lot of her books. So if I see like a cheap used one of her, I've just been adding it to my TBR. I, I think after 1984, I'm going to give another. Um, we could really do Frankenstein. I, I, really, I really think that would be fun. I really think we... I think we we should do it and that's another one that i've wanted to reread as a i mean i just think that reading this with a front with my developed frontal lobe has been cool yeah i feel like i didn't like i definitely took important things away reading it as a you know teenager but i think that i have you know a lot more lived experience now surveillance is so different now than it was so different i think that's the thing that that has kind of been freaking me out but really, how different is it then? If you think that yeah. like this was written in the forties, you know, think about the the surveillance act after nine eleven. Those yeah. really took away a lot, a lot, a lot of privacy, and that was, you know, a decade before, two decades. Be- no, I don't know, a decade and a half before I read nineteen eighty four. How old was I? Wait. What, oh. the, the, the surveillance yeah. acts yeah, yeah, like yeah. in after 9-11 those were passed what 2001 2002 that was not a decade after you were just oh when you were reading this when yeah you were reading so this. i'm Sorry. saying like the last time i read this I was, was like, probably no, like four. 2014 yeah yeah i think i read it last when i was like a junior in high school yeah that sounds about right so like still that's 12 years after these like really harsh surveillance acts and it didn't click with me in the same way that it does now so yeah. it just like I think it shows that we've been like the frog in the boiling water. Yeah. You know? Like you read this and it's like the water is boiling, get the fuck out. But we've been We've been in the water. This was written in the fucking forties. And 
the surveillance We've been has, in the water since the 40s. Yes. And I mean, oh, my God. There were just, uh, I think it's New York Police Department. Some big city police department just bought, like, $15,000 drones to do, like, surveillance on protests. Like... Damn. It's it's only getting crazier. There was there was creepy police robot dog. Oh, things. the Boston Dynamics. I hate them. They're so creepy. They are, and they've only gotten better. And they've only gotten better. They've only gotten better. And I mean, you go to the airport, you get your picture taken. Yeah. They have cameras giving tickets without people. Like it just has. I think only it's only gotten worse. But then we're still like, oh, this is fine. It's not fine. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's gotten scarier. It's gotten scarier and scarier. Yeah. I think the other thing that I took out of it is uh, Winston's creation be, uh, being an act of rebellion. Like, just him mm. writing in his journal. I was like, oh, that's crazy. Like, him being, like, the free thought that I have is the most powerful thing, but also, like, the last thing I have. And it's like, yeah. beca- I because I will say the, though, I just like okay. You can finish your thought. Okay. I was just gonna say I thought that was interesting because of how much they stripped language and how like his literal job is to rewrite history, like literally rewriting history. And I'm like, that is kind of fucked up. If somebody was like, no, everything is. Like two plus two is five, and everywhere you looked it up, it, that's where it said it. And it's like, no, I think. no, I know it's four, but like every place you go to confirm that, it just like I thought that was I thought that was interesting. Where where it was like the most powerful thing you can do is think for yourself. I have two thoughts. Yes. One. I mean, it's just the concept of, like, the winner's right history. Like, the person yeah. in power has the control yeah. of the current narrative, the past narrative, and the future narrative. Like, that's just the way it is. Yeah, what was it? Who Whoever holds or whoever controls the past controls the future and whoever controls the p- present controls the past. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. But it it is something like that. But I think the point is, is if you have control of the narrative, you have control. Yeah. Point blank, period. But I also will say... Point blank, period, per. Period, per. (laughs) I will say, though, that I also, like, I love this book. I'm enjoying it a lot, clearly. I don't think picking up a pen and writing something down is like the most revolutionary. Act. No, no, and no, no. Like, I feel but like I there are so many. Point, I gave you your time. I'm sorry. That's okay. But there, I feel like authors like the, the, clearly that's their form of medium, right? If they wrote a fucking book, yeah, that's their favorite thing. It's the words, it's the books, da 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 da. But I'm like, no, it's actually usually like talking to people. Like I also read a lot of political nonfiction and a lot of this like history. Yes written word for the masses is always a part of it but even more a part of it is like the actual talking to people and that's where the rebellion comes in you know what i'm saying and i'm like i feel like they definitely really beef up the written word word, but i'm like okay george orwell is a pen name he's written all of these books that's his favorite medium yeah you know but all all forms matter and all like connections of these thoughts is what matter not the like pen and paper and yeah. i just like don't always love that yeah because it, it gets so it roman- pushed. it romanticizes the idea as opposed to like it romanticizes words over actions i was gonna say instead of promoting the action of like yes. actually doing something actually doing something and like obviously the writers are the ones that like have a lot of you know control i we're surrounded by books we love books i love books but like Actions do speak louder than words yeah. and they just get so romanticized sometimes. Um, and I'm like, that's it. That's only a little you, bit of it. You can't, you can't always talk Wait, about it. You gotta, you, know? you gotta be about it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's always just my pushback with like yeah. that kind of a trope in these like dystopian rebellion, da 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 novels. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but have you got- your diary, <laughs> write your thoughts down. That matters. But like, okay, <laughs> go Go touch some grass. 
<laughs> so fair. Um, also, did I press something no, no, that no, I shouldn't I just, have? No, no, no. I just wanted to make sure. Um, yeah. No, that uh, that's so funny. So that's Ooh. my critique. Oh, it's already. I feel like up. I might piss some writers off with that, but I write a lot too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like. I'm a published author. I heard I heard a <laughs> podcast today that was like, if you're uh, that they said it on a podcast, it was like y- you're gonna be a bad writer if you're not also reading. Yeah. But it, you're also gonna be like a bad like. <sighs> I think. Yes. Okay, writing and reading get pitted a lot. Like you have to be a good, you have to read a lot to write well, and you've yeah. got like you appreciate reading in a different light. I think when you write. But I think you also don't write well if you don't, like, talk to people. I was going to say, like... Like, I think that also gets left out of the conversation. Yeah, like, you can't just... Yes, books introduce new ideas and you put your ideas down. But I think... I I totally agree. Your writing in a diary is ultimately an echo chamber. Exactly. You're just in your own echo chamber. And the best writing happens with other people. Yeah. Like, I think... I write so much better when I'm writing with somebody else. Yeah. Books get heavily edited. Sometimes I think not enough. <laughs> but. I feel like that's that's a deeper topic. That is. That's a whole other thing. So I'll let that one. I'll let that one. Float with the wind. I'll let that one go I'll today. I'll let that one go today. Um. So do you. Got anything else for first 1984 book club before we call it, before we put this, before we wrap this up for tonight? Oh my God. Before we wrap this up? I don't know what that was. (laughs) No. Do you feel sufficient that we talked about 1984? I do. So far? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I want to do some of my own fact checking now. I don't like... Like I got things to Google, okay. But also, I have to read this book for my Wednesday book club. So, well, if there's anything that uh, needs to be amended in the edit, I'll put. Yeah, I feel like I want to look up George Orwell's actual name. All of the information and yeah, let's edits. Give a, a rundown here. Will be in the description. I want a better definition of feudalism, capitalism, socialism, and communism. Oh, no, I'm not going to put all of that. (laughs) No, absolutely not. Damn, okay. So, George Orwell's real name... No, he's from India. Oh, wait, wait, wait. George Orwell's real name is probably on the back of this book. Where's he from? George Orwell was born in 1903 in Motari, Bengal, India. The son of a British colonial civil servant. He was educated at Eton and in 1922 joined the Indian Imperial Police in Burma, resigning in 1927 to become a writer. From 1933 to 1946, he published several novels and works of nonfiction. The tremendous success of his fairy story, Animal Farm, in 1945 was surpassed only with the publication in 1949 of his masterpiece, 1984. George L. George Orwell wrote the final pages of the novel in a remote house in the islands of Jura in the Scottish Hebrides, where he worked feverishly in between periods in hospital due to preliminary uh, pulmonary tuberculosis. He died a few months after its publication in 1950. Okay, so his name's not yeah, in Yeah, I here. feel like usually for pen names, they let it be, hmm. um, which is why I didn't know that. So out of respect for... Yeah, out of respect for the pen. We won't. Put no. his real name. Oh, okay. <laughs> just kidding. He's dead. What's he going to do? I just feel like that's cool to like honor him as a person. I feel like a lot of times pen names, like he was probably publishing under not him to like keep himself safe or something. I don't know. Probably. That's why a lot of people do that. Yeah. So, you know, he's dead. We can honor him now. Fun facts will and be also, in the I didn't the dis- realize that he like joined the police force. That definitely, and resigned. That yeah. definitely like. I mean, that makes sense. A, I mean, it makes so much sense. I think that's a tornado warning. That's a tornado warning. And on that. Good night. I think we're going to call it. Peace. Bye.